हेलो फ्रेंड्स व्हाट्सएप सो लेट इस कंटिन्यू इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू अबाउट द फॉरेन ट्रेड पॉलिसी ऑफ इंडिया ओके इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन वी हैव स्टार्टेड अबाउट द फॉरेन ट्रेड पॉलिसी 2015-20 व्हिच इस करंटली इन फोर्स इन आवर कंट्री इट मे चेंज वेरी सून यू हैव टू कीप अ टैप ऑन द करंट अफेयर्स टू यू नो नो एक्जेक्टली व्हेन इज द न्यू फॉरेन पॉलिसी न्यू फॉरेन ट्रेड पॉलिसी कमिंग एंड यू नो व्हाट आर द न्यू प्रोविजंस इन इट सिंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड यू नो द फॉरेन ट्रेड पॉलिसी 2015-20 वी हैव सीन इट्स प्रोविजन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द इशूज दैट आर देयर इन दिस पॉलिसी ओके इशूज मीनिंग विच वॉट आर द ड्रॉबैक्स वॉट आर द शॉर्ट कमिंग्स इन दिस पॉलिसी and uh, you know based on this what we can expect in the coming upcoming new policy okay because every policy has some loopholes it has some drawbacks some shortcomings and we need to understand them so that whenever a new way we bring a new policy we have to look at these shortcomings okay so let us study what are the existing uh, issues in the uh, foreign trade policy 2015 20 So see, first of all, uh, in the foreign trade policy 2015, we know that there were two schemes, SEIS and MEIS, and the main thing in this was that uh, you know the government granted the duty credit scripts, okay, duty credit scripts to the exporters. Basically, these were a kind of financial incentive, okay, because uh, it was a kind of uh, exemption from the duty, and therefore it was a financial benefit. a kind of subsidy that was given to these people now as per the wto rules okay wto world trade organization we have already seen as per the wto rules which aims for promoting free trade okay wto aims for promoting free trade in the world so export subsidies are actually not allowed okay export subsidies are not allowed whoever is a member of wto and if any country feels that another country is giving export subsidies or uh you know trying to disturb the international trade then they can file a complaint in the wto dispute settlement forum okay we we have already seen this so what happens usa is a country which uh, keeps on you know hammering india again and again with uh, you know lot of complaints so usa had after we had this foreign trade policy 2015 20 USA complained in the WTO that you know India is giving export subsidies and uh, you know uh, WTO should uh, stop uh, India from doing this because you know it is disturbing the free trade it is not fair for other countries because india is giving export subsidies so it is hampering the trade of others so a tax incentive under the meis seis was kind of export subsidies that is what us complained and what happened actually in 2019 the wto dispute settlement it gave its ruling it gave its judgment that yes usa is correct and india uh should stop these export subsidies and it ruled against india okay so it was not in favor of india so see this was the first shortcoming because our foreign trade policy was not sufficient it was not compliant to the wto norms okay this was the first shortcoming we were not compliant to the wto norms had we been compliant to the wto norms usa would not have complained it or we should have very intelligently designed our export uh, you know policy our you know tax incentives and other kind of incentives so we could not do that so that was the number one issue then second one was that you also know we have seen this that india did not join rcep okay we withdrew from rcep we were too apprehensive to join rcep and withdrew from it okay humne rcep se naam hata liya apna okay again some people believe that india missed a golden chance to be part of such a big trading block for you know india could have developed more it could have in increased its exports and because our foreign trade policy was not sufficient to guide our country to be part of such big negotiations okay we were not flexible enough that is what people say and we have missed a golden chance so that is the second number issue with our existing policy then you know foreign trade policy uh, you know it should also include things like you know infrastructure development of ports warehouses supply chain and you know these are still inadequate in our country no matter how more how many more incentives export incentives tax incentives you give to the people but unless and until you have this kind of good infrastructure okay good supply chain exports and imports will not increase and turn around time in india is 3 days okay turn around time meaning for example if a container okay this is a ship which is carrying containers to our country uh, 
and you know turn around time meaning by the time this ship reaches the port and it is actually uh, you know transported to the to the actual buyer in our country for example from port it will be unloaded then here all the custom clearance will happen and then finally it will it will go uh, to the final buyer so this turn around time is 3 days in india whereas it is 24 hours average in the world okay so on an average in the other countries it happens in 24 hours but in india it takes 3 hour 3 days okay almost 3 times so this is not good okay then msmes msmes which are you know the power engine the growth power engine of our country they are suffering due to surge in impute impute fuel cost okay now most of our fuel oil we import from other countries and you know because you know fuel costs are in increasing uh, you know msmes are suffering we are not able to sufficiently address this issue shortage of shipping container shipping containers are short labor is labor is short okay these are all short supply and you know msmes are not able to benefit from the foreign trade policy so this is another issue then export incentives are diverted from meis and seis see because usa complained and wto ruled against india's meis and seis so india had to divert the incentives which it was giving under these schemes to another scheme which was known as production linked incentive scheme okay plis okay after wto ruling and meis and seis were replaced by it it had the country had to replace these two scheme by remission of duties and taxes on exported product scheme from fiscal year uh, 21 22 okay so see this scheme so it was you know not able to sustain the wto pressure okay not sustain you know what whatever you know other countries are complaining so we had to change this uh, this into a new scheme okay so that was another problem see whenever such schemes are changed traders get confused and you know there is no certainty and it hampers foreign trade a lot so there has to be a lot of certainty so we have to design our policy in such a way that you know it should be able to sustain these kind of pressures this kind of environment okay now because of all these issues what we can expect from the new foreign trade policy okay now as i have already told you whenever there are issues in the existing policy we bring a new policy and we make improvements in the new policy so what to expect from the new foreign trade policy which may be announced this year okay which may be announced in 2023 let us wait if it is announced or not so first of all the very first thing we need to do is we need to have a wto compliant tax incentives okay the tax incentives should be such that they should not in any way uh, you know go against the wto norms the wto guidelines okay so we should design them very intelligently then second thing should be msme should be given lot of credit availability so that you know they, they should be able to fight the global pressures then gst refund should be fast for them because you know they are always the, or they, they are already very short on cash and everything so they should get faster gst refunds infrastructure upgrade is needed infrastructure like ports right warehouses electricity connections roads right railways etc everything needs to be upgraded then e-commerce export should be promoted okay promotion of e-commerce exports incorporating e-commerce export platform in niryat bandhu okay niryat bandhu is a platform of the government to mentor entrepreneurs okay basically it gives a guideline it gives uh, you know some lessons to the entrepreneurs to mentor entrepreneurs how to you know export how to be globally competitive so until now you know uh, this e-commerce platforms they were not part of it but you know they can be incorporated in the niryat bandhu so that they also get the training okay establish e-commerce export zones for msmes okay so we also need to uh, establish the export zones for e-commerce people who are doing online business then awareness to exporters about global opportunities okay our exporters our traders our businessmen they are not aware what is happening in the outside world what are the opportunities maybe there is a lot of demand of our indian product in africa in australia but they don't know how to export you know where to export and how much to export so we need to educate them about the international rules and standards okay what standard and what quality of product to produce what is acceptable right there are lot of sanitary and phytosanitary measures also there are no technical barriers to trade how to how to you know handle all these things so uh, you know we need to educate them about the international standards and international uh, you know expectations then global markets how to access global markets how to go and exhibit their products how to sell iprs about the uh, you know intellectual property rights patents geographical indications etc so all these things people need to be made aware of 
then we can also expect that you know government will provide some guideline or you know some incentive to uh, you know establish district export hubs so every district there is one product they they need to export that product and there should be hubs hubs meaning you know uh, it should be a area from where you know exports will happen you know given a lot of you know they should be given a lot of incentives to do that so district export hub should happen set up district export promotion panels and action plan to promote local goods exports okay for example maybe in one district you know some uh, you know artifact is very famous so we need to export them to other countries where there is a lot of demand or we can actually generate demand so these kind of things okay uh, these are in very short and very briefly i have explained to you what may be expected but actually we have to let us we have to wait and see what is there in the new foreign trade policy okay what actually government brings maybe it will incorporate some of these points maybe there will be some new points maybe you know again there will be some issues in the new foreign trade policy we don't know but let us see what what it brings but these are the things which you know we can expect which has which have to be done by the government which needs to be done so that you know we remain globally competitive and you know uh, our foreign trade will increase so uh, with this we end our topic of foreign trade policy We'll continue international economic policy in one more video in which we'll talk about some interesting topics. Okay, so if you have any doubt, ask me in the comment section. Thank you.